A couple months ago, my friends went to a burlesque show. It was horrible. And I heard a lot of great stories about it. So we're talking about saggy breasts to make it YouTube friendly. And I was like, well, that's exactly what I want to see. I was terrified, but don't tell this guy. So an event popped up on my list and since it's Halloween, there's nothing better to do than to dress up a bit and go to a burlesque show. So just like everyone else, I started my accessory gathering at the Spirit Halloween. You know, it's always a cool thing to get in here before Halloween. It's like a mystical magical world, it's like a Walmart for Tim Burton. Of course you can always find some sexy costumes or funny costumes or glorious costumes or scary costumes or even, even scary sexy costumes. Or if you need you can get props, decoration, masks and a lot more. Hmm, let's be cubs this year. Now let's check how it looks on me. Uh, this is how I look with the costume. Do you guys like it? <laughs> I mean, let me get in character. I heard you were a bad girl today. Are you ready for your punishment? Don't worry, if you're a guy, I have a version for you too. Sir, step out your car. There's gonna be a cavity search. <laughs> All right, it's enough to play around just like a normal cop. You guys already know me. I need to, I need to step up this game a bit. So here is me stepping up the game. And this is me again, after a couple minutes of makeup time. Also, this is the moment when my good friend RP asked me if my microphone is on. Well, RP is not here and my microphone is not on. <laughs> Baby, come back. So here I think I just made some comments of how cool I look and Hollywood, if you need a makeup artist, just call me. And then I said, I'm kind of ready to go and rumble. I think there was something in the air, so don't judge. <laughs> so I hopped in the first Uber and I was ready for the night. For clarification, I never been in this bar before. I had no clue what was waiting for me at this place, but the night shall be perfect at the place called Brownstone Lounge. So, um, when you go out to party, and especially when you go out by yourself and you read about this event, do not just read the name of it and mark down the location and the time. You need to investigate a bit and you need to read the description which is right under the freaking title. That way you might not get to a bar where it's a drag queen underwear competition party. I mean, if you don't want to, I don't judge, like, you, you can go, but, you know, it was... <laughs> This was a weird but an awesome night and as you can see I got home safe and just by myself Sweetie, come back to bed! <laughs> Give me a second! <laughs> if you like this episode of my life you know where the like button is and make sure you hit the subscribe button with a pink furry snow shower. <laughs> see you in the next one, bye bye! Now that you guys watched the whole video, and this is the ending of the video, and this is where the bloopers are, well, I'm here with Mr. Burles. <laughs> I'm not by myself. <laughs> he won! <laughs> yes! I'll, don't push anything, I'll cut out the picture. Let's just smile and... <laughs> And everything is alright, thank you very much! I'm leaving him here by himself. Hopefully everything will go good. 
So yeah guys, I'm going home with my Uber, Sandy, and um, you know where is the subscribe button and you also know where is the like button. Thank you and see you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain to take it off. So for all my friends who cannot be here tonight with me, uh, here's a glass and here's a toast. Fill up your glasses for Halloween and let the cups be clinking. On this night for our delight, all vampires, zombies and witches should go out and... <laughs> should go out drinking. <laughs> Cheers, muffos. <laughs>